Whether you're a freelancer, employee, or a business owner, your sales process can make or break your business. Today, I'm going to teach you some easy ways to make a little bit more money out of your sales through upselling and cross-selling. Listen up. I'm Phil Powell, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I share practical advice to build your brand. Today, I'm in Mexico City and we're tackling a new topic today, sales. Well, specifically the idea of upselling and cross-selling. They're different, but both incredibly important concepts for any business owner. So welcome to this video. I'm glad you're here and I'm going to explain everything you need to know. Before I get into this, I want to acknowledge that the process of selling can be a tad uncomfortable unless you've got the right mindset. I'm the face of my branding business. I'll be the first to admit that sometimes it feels weird to put a price on your work, especially when you really want to help someone, but you have to. My mindset towards sales has shifted since I've embraced the idea that my work helps people and therefore my work has value. Today, my business gross is over $50,000 a month on average, and it's all due to the fact that I have found ways to upsell and cross-sell services that I know people want and find valuable. Quickly, let me explain what both concepts are and how they're different. Upselling is the practice of encouraging your customers to purchase a high-end product that's like the one that they're considering, something that might have more features or better features, or it might be slightly more expensive. Cross-selling is different. Cross-selling is the act of inviting customers to buy complementary products. See how that's different? The best thing is that these work together in tandem and can really grow your business. It's all about providing the most value to customers while increasing your own revenue without having to incur additional marketing costs. Now that you know what upselling and cross-selling means, let's talk about some steps to make it all happen. Are you ready to juice up your sales using upselling and cross-selling in 2022? Good, me too. Step one, figure out your core offering. In order to upsell or cross-sell for your business, you need to have a core offering. I use tools like PipeDrive and EverHour to track my sales conversion funnel and my profits on all client projects. If you offer multiple services or products, I recommend doing something similar where you can measure what is selling and most importantly, how much money you're making from that sale. Ideally, by the end of this exercise, I want you to figure out what gives you the highest margins with a high conversion rate. Step two, determine how to sell more of your core offering. Once you've figured out what has high margins and high conversion rates, I want you to do a gigantic brainstorm to figure out how you can increase the sales for that core offering. Some starting ideas include promoting that core offering twice as much, so double the people see it, or growing your email list to widen your net when you promote that core offering. Here's another idea. Think about lowering the price of that core offering so more people say yes, or offering a digital version of your most popular print product. Those are just a few ideas. It doesn't mean that any of those are right for your business, but my job here is to get you thinking. You might want to run a few different experiments for this. Again, the goal here is to increase sales volumes for the product or service that is giving you the highest margins. That's step two. Let's keep going. Step three, create cross-selling items for that core offering. Cross-selling means that you'll be selling new products or services that accompany your sale. Think of the last time you ordered popcorn at a movie theater. You're probably recommended to upgrade to a combo that includes a drink and candy for just a few more dollars. Cross-selling is similar to that combo deal. You don't necessarily need to offer a combo per se, but you do want to think of a service or product that naturally tags along with your core offering. As an example, my signature service is a brand audit where I have a 90-minute call with a client to talk about their brand before providing a detailed brand audit recap. A natural cross-sell to the service would be, for example, to offer a social media plan for an additional fee when someone books their audit. That's just an example. So step three is creating a cross-selling item or cross-selling items for your core offering. Next, step four, create an upsell for that core offering. Upselling is when you provide an option to upgrade your core offering, right? So the perfect example of this is when you go to a hotel and you're incentivized to upgrade to the next level suite. 
you're still getting a room, which is the core offering, but you're getting a nicer room, which is upselling. I recommend that you think about how you can upgrade your core offering. That might be in the form of finer materials if you're selling something physical, more consulting time if you're offering a phone service, or even a photographer who could shoot longer in a photo shoot and a client pays accordingly for more photos in the end. Another example could be a deeper strategy if you're offering a consulting service. The possibilities are endless. The key here is that you want to make sure your core offering is better. You're not selling a separate complimentary service, that's cross-selling, but rather a more luxurious version of the product or service your customer is interested in. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, next, step five, sell your core offering first, then hook with a cross-sell or and an upsell. Here's the key with sales. The more choices you give, the longer it takes for your customer to make a decision. So for this reason, I recommend keeping your upselling and cross-selling offers in the wings until your customer has said yes to your core offering. Make that core offering sale first and then swing in with an upsell offer to improve what they just said yes to. Whether they said yes or no, you can swing in with cross-selling offers as well. In sales, every little thing counts and cross-selling and upselling will help you make more money from the same sales transaction. That's the idea. If you've got any lingering questions about this, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. And those videos are coming up next.